Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna learn about approx poly DP function. This function approximates a polygonal curve or curves with the specified precision. This is a very important function. We will uh, more understand about the, it in the code part. Uh, we are giving as in the vector type or in the mat type as input point array or contours array we are gonna give as input and in the output it will give us in the same type as output of the approximated points of the input and this the parameter specifies our accuracy we are gonna more understand in the code part also this close function in the previous video we also talked this is uh, uh, this means that the starting point and the ending point of the each contour or point arrays is connected to each other then it's close so we need to specify it as true otherwise we need to specify it as false let's pass to the code part, the code part. And here I need to remind you, if you directly watching this video, I recommend to you to watch the previous videos because they are connected to each other. So I recommend that to you just uh, to remind this was the output and this is the input. We are giving this and we are drawing the contours of each shape inside input. Okay, in this for loop, I'm checking each contour so I can directly call in approx poly DP function. We are gonna give as input contours and we can also output the same one. We can manipulate the same array, so there is no problem with that. Uh, double epsilon, which is accuracy, we can start with one and the close we can also start with one. Then uh, to see the difference, because for contours array we are using many points inside inside each of them, so better see the difference. Okay, before entering to the function, let's see the size of, which means the point numbers inside each contour. And see also at the end how it's manipulated. Okay, uh, then we are getting this, but we are not drawing. At the end of for loop, maybe we can draw with draw function just I need to change nothing just change color but it's better to write to the different method which I defined here not to the out but out to and I'm in show here and let's see the result okay here is the previous output and here is the new output you can see from uh, from there you can see from there there is no difference seems even you zoom seems everything fine there is no problem it's because of the accuracy we are defining we are gonna see the difference later but before that let's see these numbers what these numbers mean the first one the it means the input point numbers inside this contour but after manipulated you see that it's down to the 58 from 18 to the 12 from 436 to 41 like that it's decreased because it approximates the point so it's decreasing the points for example this contour at the beginning has 333 points but this function according to the accuracy we are giving is thinking there is no need at all and it approximates and is manipulating the points and giving us new points of that point array this is the first thing we need to talk about and we already uh, draw them Let's change the parameters from 1 to the 10. Now, uh, no need to check that, but it's decreased more than that. Before, for example, it was 58. Now 10. You can see it more decreased when we increase the accuracy, when we increase the epsilon. Also, you can check now the also shape change. You can see it's more polygonal. It has less corners before it, it has many corners so we are we were not able to we were, we were not able to pursue pursue that so now we can pursue because we increase the accuracy so it's decrease it's decrease the point approximated points even this circle you can now see as a curve not curve but polygonal you see now if you increase it more than that let's say 20 it will be more you can see this, this is almost 
a different kind of shape even this one increasing the this one it will give you less points and uh, you will see the result like you see in mine okay and what else i want to talk for also i want to compare this one on the image let's put text to the r2 and to the text i want to print this size again on the center of each contour and font face and let's say three uh scholars okay thickness let's say two done uh okay let's see maybe better make bigger now you can see the number how many point this approximated has for example this one just has say, 7 2 4 16 20 10 like that i just want you to remind if you don't remember you will just uh, just come back to the in the video this moment this one has just four points and this just has 12 also i want to write those points maybe it will be better let's write it not light but mark them in the image uh like this is since a contours okay maybe i need to define like take here each point array inside contours then again for loop each point inside the p then just circle each of the points they are including in the this one the point is k the radius is let's say five the color is let's make white and thickness fill inside okay let's see again yeah for example this has four approximated points right this white one let's make more bigger uh not five but ten okay it approximated to the four point and you see these four point these are the logical points to to give as output and this has 16 10 you see here 12 you see here 28 blah blah if you don't remember just come back to this moment now i'm changing accuracy to the one now you see many points 41 58 13 30 and it they are increased but you will see this this didn't change this didn't change why because they have straight lines this is very important to check if a contour has corners or not how you can do and you can create an algorithm first of all apply in the accuracy one the approx poly dp function and if you get four let's say or 41 let's say but when you change then apply again one more time after this when you give higher accuracy you will see that this is changed this is changed these are changed uh in higher amount but they are didn't change what this means these contours have corners you can understand this with the help of this method i just uh, give you an example of how the how we, you can create algorithms with this function also you can uh, decrease the amount of contour sizes and you can use that and many areas many algorithms you can use this useful function this is very important function and it's really useful and with this video i just wanted to show you how to use it and see you in the next video